Welcome to Art, Culture and Books with me, Anthony King. Today, I'll be taking you on a photographic tour of a 1918 painting called Alice by the one and only Amadeo Modigliani. It's currently at the National Gallery of Denmark in Copenhagen. As always, I take all the photos and videos myself on location, ensuring that you get an up close and personal view of the fascinating world of art and culture. Now, I'll be popping in and out with commentary as this video progresses, but for now, let's take a close up look. Before I start today, if you can get hold of the DVD box set from France, The Heydays of Montparnasse, it will teach you everything you need to know about Paris at the turn of the century from eyewitnesses and many of the artists themselves. It's hard to get and expensive, but a must for serious art lovers. Okay, back to Alice. Alice, an oil on canvas painted by Amadeo Modigliani from around 1918, currently resides in the Danish National Gallery, having been donated in 1928. Modigliani, renowned for his almost exclusive focus on the human figure, particularly gained fame for his portraits. When Modigliani made this painting, he had already figured out his own way of showing people in art. The girl in the painting is looking straight ahead, and the shapes and lines in the painting make it feel calm and organised, like everything is in the right place, almost in a a geometric way. Now Modigliani celebrated for his iconic portraits featured often mask-like faces and striking blue eyes and has left an indelible mark on the early 20th century art scene. Born on July 12, 1884, in Livorno, Kingdom of Italy, Modigliani moved from Italy to Paris in 1906, settling in Montparnasse during 1908-09. He became a part of the international artist community. His unconventional lifestyle and premature death significantly contributed to the romanticized myth of the bohemian Paris art scene. Residing in the Bateau Lavoie in Montmartre, a haven for struggling artists, Modigliani rented a studio in Rue Calencourt. Despite the area's poverty, he aimed to maintain an appearance of affluence, dressing well and adorning his studio with elegant furnishings and reproductions of classical art. Later, attempting to embody the spirit of a carefree artist, he donned brown pants, a red scarf and a large black hat. However, even in this attire, he still seemed to grapple with life's challenges. Within a year of his time in Paris, his demeanor and reputation underwent a no noteworthy transformation from a smart artist to a kind of down and out, struggling with alcohol and struggling with life. You've been joined today by Anthony King, but now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on Alice by the one and only Amadeo Modigliani? Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your comments, thoughts and views below. Join my Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes content. You can find out more about me on my website, anthony-king.com, where you can support me by purchasing one of my books. 